It will be okay. Trusting God through fear and change. Written by Lisa Turkurst. Illustrated by Natalia Moore. In a dusty shed, on a rickety shelf, hidden in a cozy packet, lived a tiny seed. Day after day, little seed watched as the farmer came into the shed. The farmer's strong hand would reach into the packet, and he would say, I have a good plan for you, each time he selected a seed. Little Seed knew the farmer was good and kind, but he did not want to leave his home. Little Seed liked living inside the cozy packet on the rickety shelf in the farmer's dusty shed. He did not want to go. In the nearby woods, under the big tall trees in a comfy den, lived a playful fox. Little Fox raced around the tree trunks in the woods. Yippee! he shouted with glee. But then, a long black shadow scared him and he hurried to hide in his den. He was afraid of the dark shadows, and howling winds, and rain, and most everything. Little Fox liked his comfy den under the big tall trees in the nearby woods. He did not like being afraid. One particularly dark night, a storm rumbled into the forest. Thunder boomed, lightning flashed, rain poured into Little Fox's den. Oh no! Little Fox cried as he scurried through the woods, trying to find somewhere safe and dry and not scary. He barreled inside the farmer's dusty shed, bumped into the rickety shelf, and knocked over the cozy seed packet. Little Seed rolled out onto the floor. A surprised Little Fox found himself standing nose to nose with a very unhappy Little Seed. I am Little Fox, and I live in the den under the big tall trees in the nearby woods, he explained. I love to play in the woods, but I am afraid of dark shadows and howling winds, he said. There are no winds or shadows in your shed. Can I live here with you? Will you be my friend? Little Seed said, Do you see a pillow? Do you see a bed? Do you see a place to lay your wet head? No, you don't, because this safe place is the farmer's shed. But then Little Seed thought of how safe and warm it was inside the cozy packet on the rickety shelf in the farmer's dusty shed. He thought it might be quite nice to have a friend. Little Fox and Little Seed became the best of friends. Little Seed told silly stories and Little Fox made funny faces. Each day, when the farmer came to the shed, Little Fox hid away. But the farmer was good and the farmer was kind. And the farmer was always watching over them, even when they didn't know it. One morning, the farmer came into the shed, as he had on many days. Little Seed, he said as he placed him in his hand, I have a wonderful plan for you. I have waited for just the right time and today is the day. Oh no, please, no, I don't want to go, thought Little Seed. The farmer went outside and knelt down. He pushed Little Seed under the ground, into the dirt, and down to a deep, dark, messy place. Now, Little Seed, this is going to be different, and it might seem scary, but it will be okay. You can trust me, said the farmer. Little Seed wished he were inside the cozy packet on the rickety shelf in the farmer's dusty shed. I want to trust, even when I can't see. But how in the world is this good for me? Little Seed, come back! cried Little Fox when he saw the farmer take his friend away. Where are you, Little Seed? He looked in front of the shed and behind the shed but Little Seed was not there. He looked on top of the tractor and under the tractor, but Little Seed was not there either. He looked under the duck's wings and inside the dog's flappy ears. He looked in the horse's tail, the pig's pen, and even in the farmer's boot, but Little Seed could not be found anywhere. Now Little Fox was really worried. Little Seed, he shouted. I'm here. I'm here. Way down in the dirt. I'm 
I'm scared and I'm lonely, but I'm not hurt, came Little C's muffled voice right below him. Little Fox thought hard for something to say or something to do that would help his friend not be scared. But he was afraid too. It's different and scary to be someplace new, but it will be okay, Little Seed. Little Seed was not so sure, and neither was Little Fox. But the farmer was good, and the farmer was kind, and the farmer was always watching over them, even when they didn't know it. Little Fox stayed by Little Seed night after night and day after day. He was scared and lonely too. But after a while, Little Fox started to see how the farmer took care of them. Fresh water for Little Seed, sweet berries for Little Fox. He wasn't even quite so afraid when he saw the dark shadows or heard the howling wind. Little Fox was starting to believe that the farmer was good and the farmer was kind. My friend, whispered a sleepy little fox to Little Seed, go to sleep. It will be okay. Little Seed sat in the dark and messy place for what seemed like a very long time. But one spring morning, Little Seed felt a mysterious stirring. He looked down and discovered he was no longer a little seed. He was becoming something brand new, something wonderful. He pushed up through the dark, out of the dirt, and right through the ground. And there, looking sleepy-eyed and surprised, was his friend, Little Fox. Little Fox looked down and saw a beautiful green sprout. My friend! They each exclaimed with glee. They were once again nose to nose, and Little C told silly stories, and Little Fox <laughs> made funny faces. After many days of fun, Little Seed said, Little Fox, look up and see. It's hard to believe what's become of me. From the messy, dark place I grew and grew, from a seed to a tree, only the farmer knew. Together they made it through the dark and scary time, and together they each learned that the farmer was good, and the farmer was kind, and the farmer was always watching over them, even in dark, messy places. Little Seed was never supposed to be just a seed in a seed packet, and Little Fox was not supposed to be alone and afraid. The seasons came and the seasons went. Little Seed grew into a big, strong tree, and Little Fox raced around his tree trunk, and sometimes Little Fox lay in the tall, cool grass near Little Seed. And the breeze tickled his nose and the sun warmed his belly. And the good and kind farmer was always watching over them. Little Seed liked things to stay the way they were. Little Fox was sometimes afraid. But just as they learned to trust the farmer, we can learn to trust God. We do not need to fear. He has a wonderful plan. God loves you. And He is kind. And in the end, it really will be okay.